Straight all day. Straight all day. Straight all day. Straight all day. Overseas basketball blueprint. Step three. An overseas basketball blueprint process. You got to get seen. I Meaning you must draw attention to your game and not attention just from anybody. Not attention from uh, your followers on Facebook. Not attention from uh, commentators on Instagram. You got to get attention from people who actually have the power to do something for you in your professional basketball life. That's what I mean by getting seen. Who can actually do something for you in your life when it comes to playing professional basketball overseas or in the NBA or in the G League? Those are the three places that we're talking about here. How do you do that? Well, let me tell you what I did. When I was unknown in the basketball world, but I felt like I had talent to do my thing after college, I went to an exposure camp. I paid the money, went to the exposure camp. I paid the fee for the camp. I paid the money for the rental car. I paid the money for the hotel, paid for my food over the course of that weekend. And I went in that gym over the course of two days, four games, and I showed my game. Now, who was sitting in the stands at those games? It wasn't just random people who couldn't do anything for me. They could be my fans, but fans can't do nothing for you when it comes to moving up in the levels of this game. And this game, your fans can't do nothing for you. Right, the only thing they could do is maybe vote you into the all-star game, but even that, they started to take away. Now they made the vote less about the fans and they got the players and the coaches vote now, right? So the fans can't really do nothing for you but hype up your ego, which is cool if you're after hyping up your ego. is, is a drug, trust me, ego is a drug. But if you're trying to move up in this game where it's levels to this shit, you gotta get seen by somebody with some real juice, meaning someone who works for or with a professional basketball team. That means that person has real connections, real relationships. They actually been on a plane. They have been overseas in the gyms where those teams are at. They've been in the practices. They've been in the games. The coaches know them, the GMs know them, the managers know them. Maybe that person is a coach or a GM or a manager or the owner of a team, or they're very close to one, or that person can be an agent or a scout or a manager who's very business is identifying players like yourself who can play and then connecting those players to professional teams and as the middleman who brokers that deal, your agent or manager, whoever they are, the talent scout, they get paid by the team when you get signed to a contract. So to tell you the rest of the story, I went to that exposure camp, did my thing at that camp. I took the footage from that camp, the video of my four games, sent that around to a bunch of agents. I went and called a bunch of agents after that because the people in the stands at that exposure camp None of them signed me as an agent, but they gave me a great scouting report because some of the people working there, actually, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I took the video after that exposure camp, like two weeks later, I got the footage. I started calling every agent I could find. I sent my footage to a whole bunch of agents. One agent called me back. That agent decided to represent me. He's the agent that got me my first deal in Commons, Lithuania at the age of 23. That's how my career started. But the whole goal was not, and this is way before there was a such thing as being an influencer on the internet. It was this, the goal was not to get seen and known and have fans amongst, again, the peanut gallery. In the professional basketball world, the peanut gallery is anybody with an opinion who has no power to actually do anything. Let me say that one more time. In the professional basketball world, the peanut gallery is anybody with an opinion who has no power to do anything for you. So if they can't make a phone call, they can't connect you to a team, if nobody overseas even knows this person, if they never even been overseas, all right, that person has no juice, that person has no power, they are, or they don't know anybody who's overseas, let's say. Maybe they work all in the United States, never actually been. Most of the agents that I know that are worth something, all right, they've been to Europe, they've been overseas, they've been to the other countries, they've shook hands with the people that they're trying to get you signed with. All right, the agents that have never actually been over there, some of them may actually be good, but some of them ain't. All right, so be careful with that. But the point that I'm making, let's not get lost in the details here, is that the people with the juice, those are the ones whose opinions matter. So it might be 300 people in the stands. There's only three people in the stands who could do anything for your career. All right, don't try to impress the dudes who work at uh, the Eckert store or the Target. All right, they can't do nothing for you. But the, those three people sitting in the front row that ain't saying nothing, all right, they can do something for you. They're the ones you need to pay attention to. They're the ones that you need to impress. And again, that's just a metaphor that I'm giving you here. But you have to get seen. The best way to get seen, if you've never been seen anywhere before, if your college days are over, is go to an exposure camp. Go to an exposure camp. The whole purpose of the camp is to bring together players who are pro level and decision makers at the pro level so that the decision makers can watch the players and decide they can choose. They can start choosing which, which of these players can help my team or help the teams that I work for or which one of these guys should I keep my eye out on and you know maybe sign them to my agency so I can shop them around to my contacts and my connects, get them a deal. I get paid, they get paid, the team is happy, they got a new player, win, win, win situation. That's where you need to be. And exposure camp, everybody sitting in the stands has juice. At your local pro-am, 
don't nobody in there got no juice. Maybe a, maybe a couple of people. Uh, the only juice anybody got in there is they got a camera and they're filming trying to post something on IG. All right, you could be famous for a couple of days off. You made somebody fall on a crossover. You dunked on somebody. You had 30 points and nobody was playing defense. That's cool. But we talking about playing pro. All right, ain't none of that shit going to get you overseas. All right, don't be fooled and don't let nobody tell you anything different. I ain't got no reason to lie to you. So you need to go to where the decision makers are at. And one of the best places that they're at is at those camps because that's why they show up. They show up there to find out what's going on there. And that's why I got, that's why I wrote this book right here. The truth about overseas basketball exposure camps. You didn't know about it. I'm sorry. I should have told you about it. But when you claim your free copy of the overseas basketball blueprint, there's a little checkbox right on that page. You can add this right here to your shipment. We'll give you both books. Again, that's at ballgoverseas.com. Overseas book is already paid for. All you do is cover the shipping. Now, when it comes to, the, we're still on this third point of getting seen. You got to perform when you get seen. All right, remember that too. Don't just get seen and be trash. All right, don't get seen and have a terrible game. Get seen and actually have a good game. Show your skills. Do what you do. Do the things that your game, that you want your game to get known for. Do the things to help a team win games and show that you can do maybe more than one thing. Okay? Can you do, are you an outside shooter? Great. Can you do anything else? Can you guard anybody? Can you pass? Can you put the ball on the floor one or two times? You ain't got to be Allen Iverson. Can you put the ball on the floor one or two times if the defender runs you off the three-point line? Can you guard the person who is guarding you on the other end of the floor? Or do you give up a bucket for every bucket you score? Or are you doing things to help the team win? Can you take a charge? Do you make the extra pass? Will you set a screen off the ball? Do you call out the screen when your man is about to get screened on defense? Are you in the right place when you're one pass away? Do you know how to play help side defense? These are the type of things that a coach is looking at, a scout is looking at. Agents are looking at these things while your fans on Instagram and YouTube, all right, they don't know anything about this. Right, they wouldn't know it if it smacked them in the face. So be careful who you are allowing to gas you up or tell you that you're good or who you're trying to impress when you're out there playing. If we're talking about the pro level, I'm gonna keep saying this, it is levels to this shit. If we're talking about the pro level, you gotta make sure you're doing the things that will impress the pro people, all right? Not the peanut gallery motherfuckers. Because again, where they gonna be when you're signed overseas playing, they're gonna be right there in, the, in those bleachers doing the same thing they was doing before. So be careful of who you're paying attention to and whose attention you're actually trying to draw. So this is the third step in the overseas basketball blueprint process. Again, if you don't have a blueprint book, go to balloverseas.com, the book's paid for, all you do is cover the shipping, and we're gonna give you an option to add the truth about overseas basketball exposure camps to your order right there on the spot. Next, we're gonna talk about the fourth step an overseas basketball blueprint process, work on your game. Dre all day.